Okay, so I just got done doing this video on this Perflux oil filter, number LS186. And I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. But what I was wanted to do was, I was curious on this anti-drain back valve setup that they have on here. And if you're as curious as me, you'll probably want to watch this video also. See, they got the, looks like an anti-drain back valve there. It's just, it's just a little rubber. Thin rubber piece covers up those holes, but they have this metal thing here with a spring on it. So I want to take this off just to see how it, see what it looks like. Also, take a look at this bypass valve. So you get some gloves on, and let's see if I can tear this apart. It's on there pretty good. There it goes. Okay, it's a separate piece. Alright, let me get let me get this off too if I can. Yeah. Okay. Alright, that's typical bypass valve. Let me get my gloves back off. So this is just the See if the screwdriver works. Yeah. Yeah, it's a regular bypass valve that's on a lot of filters. But this anti drain back valve has got like a little spring here. You know, I see. It's just a spring right in there. Oh, there it goes. And there's the spring. Oh, that's cool. Well, they went to a lot of trouble to make this instead of just using a silicone ink drain bag valve. There it is. I just picked it up off the floor. Let it go like that, I think. Yeah. So it just pops in there. See that? Oh, cool. So, what do you guys think about this? <laughs> I think it's pretty neat. I'll give it a thumbs up anyways, just for being so unique. All right. Yeah, it's right in there. I think I'll wrap this video up then. All right, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.